Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So in this video, I wanna talk about how blockchain could revolutionize social media. All right, so before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. And if you're interested in learning how to build blockchain technology, you need to get in my blockchain developer bootcamp. That's over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You can hop on some free training. So let's talk about how blockchain could revolutionize social media. All right, so I hear a lot of people complain about social media. They say it's broken and for lots of different reasons, right? Sometimes they blame the platform, sometimes they blame a person, or sometimes they just blame the algorithm, right, as the reason for their posts never getting seen, right? It's just that darn algorithm that, you know, keeps your content in the gutter. Nobody ever likes it or shares it or comments on it, right? So these are kinds of things that I have people argue about. So how can we solve some of these problems with blockchain, okay? So there's a few ways I think we can do this, right? Right. So the target that we're aiming at to fix social media, I think, is to do a couple things. Um, one is to decentralize social media. That's to remove, you know, some control out of the hands of these, you know, centralized entities like, you know, the CEOs people complain about or the platforms that have, you know, businesses that control the rules of social media and also that darn algorithm that everyone complains about, right? And longs for the days when they just saw all their posts chronologically in the newsfeed, right? Um, so let's talk about how we can achieve that. That, right, more decentralization, and also how we can kind of reinvent the incentive structure of social media, where different types of content gets rewarded differently than it does now, and there's different ways to reward it, right? So I'm gonna talk about all that, I'm gonna break it down. All right, so really quickly, let me just clarify what it means to decentralize social media, right? It's just like what I was saying, it removes some of the control from a central entity, a centralized company or platform, or whatever, and moves more of the power into the people who actually use the network, like people who post content and interact with content and like it and stuff like that. So what are the benefits of this? Like, why would you do it? Well, it helps with a couple different things. Like I said, that algorithm that everyone complains about it kind of offsets some of the effects of that where you know there's not this company controlling what they reward and what they see on the platform and stuff like that. It allows users to reward that and you know incentivize people to post more or boost their own posts or something like that. Okay. And also it fights this problem of censorship resistance, which people are complaining about with social media, right? And I guess the algorithm is part of that, right? Like if the content's not good necessarily, it technically gets censored by being pushed down in the queues, but there's also more blatant censorship that people will complain about, like certain ideas aren't necessarily represented more on uh, social media, right? Or maybe other ideas are represented more. People just think this. There's a perception of this, whether it's true or not, right? And you also hear of like certain people being demonetized on social platforms or their accounts get banned entirely, right? So that's another example of censorship on these platforms. And decentralization can solve some of these problems. Now there's lots of different companies who are coming out with decentralized alternatives for social media. And I want to talk about one in particular today, and that's my Minds.com. I'll just pull that up on my screen here. Um, this is actually the uh, page for Bill Ottman, who's the co-founder of Minds. I actually just had him on my YouTube channel. You should go check that out if you haven't already. It's a really great interview. Yeah, Bill's a really smart guy. I really had uh, a good time talking with him on my channel. And, you know, you can go see lots of other interviews about him. He's been all over the place, like on Joe Rogan and stuff like that. But I like our talk that we did because we really get into the meat of the technical part of Minds and how it's, you know, working towards decentralization in a very specific way. So go check that out if you haven't already. So what is Minds doing to decentralize social media or revolutionize it with the blockchain? Well, there's a few things. And the first thing I want to talk about is that it's reinventing the incentive structure of social media in a way, right? So, you know, we talked about before about the dreaded algorithm that everyone complains about. Well, the algorithms reward certain things and maybe punish other things, maybe by not rewarding them. And we don't always know how it works, right? There's constantly people trying to figure out how the algorithm works so they can optimize their you know, social media reach and things like that, right? And that is essentially a problem in a way. You're always guessing because you can't see the code, you can't see how it works, and it seems like it's always changing, right? So in a a more decentralized context, you don't have to worry about the algorithm that no one understands, right? The power is placed more into the user's hands, whether users reward other users. And this creates a different incentive that you don't have to guess about necessarily. You're more looking at what do other users want rather than what does this algorithm want you to do, right? And this incentive structure has changed to include money, monetary incentives, right? So basically they have an Ethereum-based token that works natively on their platform. You know, it's a full-on utility token that can be used uh, freely on the platform. 
platform. You can you know, tip people, send people wires and things like that. It's really well integrated into the platform and it, it creates this new incentive structure that I'm seeing a lot across a lot of other crypto applications. Like money is this new powerful thing that we can you know integrate natively ap- into applications and this is how they're doing it with social media and I'm really excited about it, okay? So let's talk about you know, what this token opens up other opportunities for on the platform to decentralize social media or fix it, right? One thing that it does is it changes how users can, you know, interact with influencers, okay? So right now, if you want to work with an influencer, you basically have to, you know, connect with them over email or direct message or something like that and work out a deal and how you're going to pay for it. And, you know, also talk about the terms and, you know, see if it worked. And then there's all this back and forth that goes on, right? And mine's is going to let you basically automate a lot of this away, it essentially allows you to create bounties for influencers where you know you can just say, hey, if you do this and I'll pay you a certain amount, right? And we can do it automatically. So basically, if you get the desired result, then you just pay that person, right? And that's a really cool thing because it removes all this friction of communication and trying to figure out how to get influencers to do stuff for you. And it's a really cool feature. And Bill explains that more in that interview if you want to go check that out, okay? So another thing is also how it how it fixes advertising in a way, right? So on the platform, you can just boost your own posts natively with the cryptocurrency that you have on your account, okay? And this is really cool because it's a way that you can just guarantee that your content's gonna get seen more to just boost it up in the newsfeed, all right? And this reduces a lot of friction with the advertising. So I've done a lot of advertising and there's a lot that you need in order to get started. Oftentimes you need an ad account, you need a business page, outside your personal page, you need all this extra stuff, you need to add a credit card. And that's a lot of friction just to like basically boost some posts on your account, right? And this is a way that you can remove a lot of that friction. You can just have a simple user account and just boost your posts with the cryptocurrency that's already plugged into the platform itself without having to worry about all that extra stuff, okay? And this also have the added benefit that you know how it's going to work, okay? And this is not just for advertising, it's for a lot of different uh, pieces of minds. A lot of their code is open source. So I've actually got the GitHub page pulled up here where you can go see, you know, how different pl- parts of minds work if you're a programmer, right? You can go and look at the code yourself. And if you're not a programmer, which I understand, you could get somebody else to look at it for you. And even if you don't need that, it basically is a new layer of trust that they're even willing to have this peer review process for other people to come in and see how it works, even if you can't understand it you know, directly yourself. Okay? It's just a whole new layer of trust. And specifically when I'm talking about advertising, that's a big problem with advertising right now is you're always trusting these entities that they're going to show your ads to people. And we've seen situations in the past where people have gotten in trouble because, well, they lied about their impressions or something like that. And you won't get that with something uh, where all the code is just open source and you can see how it's going to work, right? And that's not just for ads. It's for really anything on the platform, okay? So, you know, let's talk about uh, this idea of decentralization and how it can be achieved kind of on this sliding scale. And this is something I talked about with Bill in the interview. Like I said, I highly recommend you check that out if you haven't already. You know, because I talked to them about how do you achieve decentralization? How did you all do it with mines? You know, what did you decide to do now and what are you working toward? Because when you're trying to work towards decentralization, you're always going to basically sacrifice something in favor of decentralization, right? And there's always sort of this tension of like, what do we sacrifice? What do we not sacrifice in order to build a really good decentralized application or a DAP or a DAP, right? So what I mean by that is, you know, you could have this extreme case where everything is as decentralized as possible where, you know, you have, uh, you know, stuff running on IPFS and there's like no web servers or anything like that, right? And it's possible to do some small scale projects like that. And that can serve a very hyper niche use case, right? But for most consumer facing applications that have a lot of users, you want to take some of that away and, you know, use certain tools that what work well that don't necessarily have to be decentralized and use the parts um, like the blockchain and other decentralized tools to make the really essential parts of the application decentralized. And that's what I've talked about a lot with Bill and how they did that with Minds and what they're working more towards, right? Because it's a great user experience, right? Not everything that's decentralized has a great user experience right now. People are figuring that out. And I think they've done a lot of hard work in this space and done a really great job, all right? So that's all I got for today, guys. Again, check out Minds.com. Check out that interview I did with Bill. I think they're doing a really good 
job. I think there's a lot of room to revolutionize social media with decentralization with the blockchain. So again, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. If you want to learn how to build blockchain technology, you need to get into my blockchain developer bootcamp over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You can sign up for some free training. All right. So hope you all like this video. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.